In this video, I will be showing you how I laid my vinyl floor in. Hello and welcome! I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Turak, Bobby, and Pilou, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along, as we say yes to new van ventures! As you could have seen in one of my previous videos, I reused the floor that I got when I bought the van. This floor was old and dirty and I wanted to have a nice subfloor in, so this is what I'm doing right here. For this I am using Floorflex Fini. This is a thin sheet of MDF with a thin layer of foam under it. This evens out any uneven edges and is easy to work with. It's important to keep some space around because this stuff can still expand in the future. This product has a sticky side and a stick on side. This makes it look almost seamless. Here I show you how I measure the tricky corners. I measure both sides from the left and from the right and I draw it out on the paper. Once I know the measurements, I eyeball the rounded shape and start cutting it out. I really like working with this product because it is easy to cut and especially in a van there's a lot of corners and edges that you have to cut. You simply take out the box cutter and cut the pieces off that you do not need. Once the piece is out, it's time to see if it fits. There are two more edges I need to trim. In the right bottom corner and where the little slat is touching the floor. I trimmed the three sides until it was perfect and it would fit nice and snug. Again see that I leave a little gap between the wall and the subfloor. Here's another example of another rounded corner that I have to fill in. I have a piece of the subfloor, I measure the sides and I, again I eyeball the rounded shape cut it out and make it fit. When the subfloor is laid in, it is now time to put the vinyl flooring and I was so happy to be doing this because it started to look like an actual little house, which was amazing. It was a little bit harder for me to get it in, but I finally managed. It was a lot of, <laughs> as you can see, it was a lot of going under the bed, which was tight. Here you can see I have decided to let the floor walk all the way into this little curved area. Because I will be using carpet tape to attach the flooring onto this wall here, I am first making sure that I put Armaflex on there to make sure no cold can come in through this white part that is still showing.
Once all the metal has been covered with Armaflex, I use carpet tape to attach the vinyl floor onto. Because I am making this entire part out of one piece, this also ensures that no water can go under there whenever it rains and the door opens and it just gives a really nice clear seam and it looks homey when you open the door. When choosing my floor I looked at a couple of options and I chose vinyl because I wanted something that was lightweight, I wanted something that can handle a little bit of moisture, that is easily clean for me because I have three little dogs and we are going to be outside roaming around in the woods, we are going to be dragging all sorts of dirt inside and I would like it to be easy to clean. Just sweep and mop with a wet cloth and then it looks awesome and brand new again. I attach these aluminium strips to protect the vinyl from tearing and I painted these first with primer and then with the top coat but with everything I've been doing in the van they have gotten a little bit ratchet, they have, the paint is coming off. So I think that once I'm totally done I'm going to paint them once more just to make them nice and black again. But I don't think they will stay black in the future so I do not recommend painting these. After attaching the last piece onto the fabric tape it's very easy to get a clean cut and it looks awesome. Now I was ready to go get my floor mat and I was so super happy to get this. It was so much fun to go there and say, can I have like 30 centimeters of floor mat please? So this is what the floor is looking like now and it's been in there for about two months. And I absolutely love the color and how it matches with the green paint and how it matches with the wood I'm using. I'm super excited about the feel that this floor gives it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you could give this video a like, that would be awesome. And in the next video, I'll be showing you how I made the bedside table, which is made from tree branch. And in the meantime, don't forget to say yes to new Avengers.